um, Yumu on the Piranha Plant. So, I'm of the I can't opinion. think of any plant players. I was going to name a nest player and a plant player. I can't think of any plant players. Shout out to Sorry. my boy, shout out to my boy Hoffma from, uh, from San Luis Obispo, California. <laughs> right, Stati. <laughs> if I saw that man on the street, I wouldn't know who this man is. Sorry to this man. <laughs> I forgot Santi plays um, plants. I also forgot that uh, Sayuki's dead. Also, the names on the top just as to what the player order is. Oh yeah, I forgot who was playing plant there. <laughs> <laughs> Down smash. Okay. So plant has a lot of like interesting tools. If you've never seen a higher level plant playing. Um, a lot of his combo game is going to be off of that, uh... Patooey. Patooey. It's going to be, like, how can I extend into Patooey, and how can Patooey disrupt your combos? Well, Patooey is just a good move. Like, it's a really good move. It's a great disruptor, it's great at edge guarding. Mm-hmm. It has, uh... Ooh, Can't absorb it. Just like, just like you said right there, great edge guarding. Um, it also has It's three... very fast and has a really good angle. It has three different angles it can travel at, depending on how long, uh, plant. Depending on the height, I believe. Yeah, on the height, yeah. And it's really great at, uh, disrupting recoveries like Nesses, which take a while to start up. It's also great at, um, interrupting Rushdown-type characters, or people who just kind of throw themselves at you. Mm -hmm. I thought he was just gonna run <laughs> off and kill himself. Oh, there's Patui. I thought he up-tilted. I was like, how did that even connect? Yeah, this character has, like, such weird, weird moves. Weird and Some animation. of them are not good, and some of them are amazing. Yeah. Speaking of amazing moves, Ness back air. Ness back air. That Patui almost hit him. Also, Yumu walking inches away from the outer edge of PK Fire to, to dodge it. Uh, up throw should kill here. Um, Never mind. I, I think he wants to mess <laughs> with him longer. It's it's like, I got a character I like to play and is funny in random. Like, like the funny meme him. character. Yeah. Right, it's a funny meme character. Going to be taking it, going up 1-0 there. But it is a random ditto, so what do you think his RNG is going to pull out? I'm... I'm going to guess that one of them gets a Pokemon. And one of them gets... Captain Falcon. That's my hard reads. You have any guesses? Um, I'm going to say Olimar. Ooh. For what? For someone. There's too many characters, and there's only two people. I'm not going to give someone specifically. Um, yeah. Or Pichu. So Olimar or Pichu. Are right, my if, we see a, if we see a Pichu on screen, then we're both right. So I'm hoping for the Pichu. I think... If I had to assume why they're doing a random ditto, or why they did a random ditto, I don't know if they're still going to be doing it. Um, I would think it's so Yumu can kind of reset his mentality before potentially going into Raven King again. He might have had a really close set that he wants to kind of get past and reset before going into the potential grand final set against him. You're reading into this too deep. <laughs> They're they're two in a random set because they feel like messing around with each other. That that's that could also be the case. Oh, okay, and no, they're going they're... actual characters. Yeah. All right, so Chrom Mario is kind of what I expected to see in game one. Um, 
Mario is probably Yumu's most practiced and best character. So I would say so, yeah. And Krom being Sayuki's best and most practiced character. Mm -hmm. And it's sort of like the age-old rivalry between Mario and Sword characters, where Sword characters can obviously outrange Mario, kill him very early, but then Mario can just get these combos off so quickly and kill very early with stuff like Flood and Cape. Flood also ruins Krom. Like, it just completely destroyed him. It put him in the unemployment. <laughs> Flood alone probably moves Krom like one or two places down in the tier list. If Flood didn't exist, he'd be a little bit higher. Oh wow, down air into up air. Never seen that one from Krom. That's new stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, up air is a... It usually doesn't kill, but I guess it just happened to be the perfect positioning percent. Well, also, um, Yumu kind of... Oh, great dash attack. Yumu made a... He down aired from all the way up there, which doesn't have a hitbox at the bottom of his feet. And that's exactly where Sayuki attacked. Speaking Very of card. Yeah, he got. Well, no, he killed him with back. He did that dash attack to get that, um, the late hit on it because it's, like, really stupid at two framing. Mm -hmm. Um, it's like Palu down tilt levels of, like, dumb good at two framing. And then, uh, just hit him with a back air because Sayuki was forced to air dodge. Mm hmm. We got a we got a Mario at sixty and a Chrom at five percent. So I'm looking to see how often Yumu can get in and get these big long Mario strings on Sayuki. That's gonna be like the turning point of matches is when Yumu gets a one grab and doesn't get anything off of it. <laughs> and throws him forward. He does that a lot. I've been seeing recently. By recently, I mean like the one time I've watched him play in the past months. Is he's been doing a lot of forward throwing. Aside from there, but I think it's because he knew he could get a combo off of that. Yeah, and he was in the perfect position to extend it off of the platform, so. God, why is that move so good at. <laughs> it's so good at two framing. Just Mario sticking out his little foot. It's just, just his little stubby leg. His, like, steel-toed worker boot. <laughs> <laughs> Mario's shoes are plated with netherite. Ever since Steve came in, no one's ever been the same. Steve brought the netherite for Mario's shoes, that's why he was allowed in the Smash. Yeah, that's how he paid his way in. How do you think you got Mario to agree to do that uh, trailer video? <laughs> the single jab into grab is such an underutilized tool in Smash, and I love to see people like Yumu bringing it out like that. There's a lot of characters that it's it's good on because people just don't react to it properly because it's hard to react to. Why they get hit by one jab and they're like, just because they think, okay, hold it, wait for the jab to finish, mm -hmm. and but it's it's hard to like react to some characters as jabs because they don't have uh a lot of like lag between like waiting after the first jab and then they can do something else mm -hmm. oh no tech he Not, lived? i mean great di also just perfect percentage for him to live mm -hmm. that was pixels from the blast zone Uh, <laughs> uh, rest in peace. <laughs> that was the funniest looking kill. That was so <laughs> anticlimactic. Janky wonk. Bonk. So yeah, Yumu going up 2-0 here. Um, I'm not really expecting any different stage or character coming out from uh, Sayuki. I think... Maybe we could see a stage like a small battlefield where Krom is going to get kills a little bit quicker, but still have the platforms to help his combo extensions. 
I can maybe see like a small battlefield or a regular battlefield. But you don't want to give Mario a top platform. And a low ceiling. Yeah. Uh, same characters, but stage switch. Don't know what it is. I'm assuming... Oh, I was going to say town. One, no, we're going to the other one. We're going to Smashville. No, we're... Yeah, we're currently in Cromville. Cromberg. <laughs> Cromberg is so strong. Oh, my God. It's so... I mean, how do you think I felt having to deal with it? <laughs> and I didn't even have the worst of it. Is there, like... Okay, so I'm... Uneducated, because I obviously don't know. Is there a specific advantage that Smashville gives to Chrome players other than just being really tiny? Um... No. Chromberg comes from City of Schaumburg having a lot of Chrome. Oh... It was just because we're on Smashville. I was like, Chromville, Chromberg. I thought you were, like, making... I was, like, like, chaining together reference. Okay, I thought it was, like, how Smashville players used to call this Sheikville. Because it's no. like her best stage. It, it, I turned into Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memory, but it was Chain of Crown. Also, uh, Yumu is currently uh, Chain of Forward Smashes. <laughs> He's Chain of Memories right now. Chain of Chain of Memes. <laughs> and I, I really thought he had the perfect spacing, but no. He's Kingdom Hearts Chain of Chaining these stocks together. So like he's on his tournament stock Ooh. now. And Yumu is having a good time. <laughs> yeah, Yumu is messing with him hard. Yeah, Yumu's, Yumu's in his head right now. It's, it's not hard for Yumu to get in anyone's head. He's a very cerebral player and a very different player. If you've never seen Yumu play before, this is what to expect. Not cerebral. I was I was like cerebral. Is that wrong? No, I don't think so. I've just <laughs> have not heard someone use that as a, an adjective in a very long time. <laughs> Shout out to Triple H, the cerebral cerebral assassin himself. Also you move very close to just three stocking Sayuki and closing uh, them to a trio. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just as you said that. Here Did he have... No, I think he got hit by a ledge Trump once. But he had, like, a failed recovery.